Ender Geister is one of my favorite ongoing manga. The author, Takashi Yomoyama, is a wicked talent that knows how to combine exciting action with digital artwork and draws women better than most other authors. However, just like many other fans of his work, I didn't read Versus Evil until after I had already started Ender Geister. But let me tell you, Versus Evil is every bit as good as Ender and is tonally different enough to be worthy of a weekend marathon. Asahi is a college student who finds herself awakening from missing memories after a party. Oh, how I miss getting roofied at western parties. She soon finds out that she's been possessed by an evil spirit nicknamed Grudge. Eventually, they encounter supernatural forces that they have to battle. They try to piece together who's responsible for their missing memories and what has been causing these recent supernatural occurrences. Verse Evil is a short read with only three volumes, but it sets up the world of Endergeister perfectly. The power systems are initially unrelated, with Verse Evil having a more occult ghost battle feel in contrast to EG's gunfu type beat. Asahi and Grudge's mission is on a much smaller scale compared to Akira's, and seeing them interact with one another while sharing a body is really funny. I actually like the dynamic between them much more than the Chikagi akira pairing. The dialogue feels more organic, and because Grudge is never fully comfortable around Asahi, you see that caution constantly creep into their conversations and battles. Even though he's a bit stiff and one-dimensional at times, it's a nice touch. I didn't know this series was connected to EG until I saw my baby mom's Suzu Sukigami show up, and that was such a surprise. I love her character here. Suzu's mysteriousness is played up even more than in the sequel, and she brings evil up another notch in quality whenever she graces the pages. And while on the topic of hoes, let's address the elephant in the room. Yomoyama also creates hentai under the pen name Gazuntite. His catalog with adult content has just as much depth as his mainstream stuff. But it's because he also creates in that world why his ability to draw women and tasteful ecchi is so high. He understands how to reward the reader with fan service. There is a lot of nudity in Verse Evil, but it's not just sprinkled throughout for no reason. And yeah, Asahi has a bigger rack than an 80s shred guitarist, but she never flaunts it, and seeing her act brave in the presence of ghouls and ghosts makes her a strong female MC. I would totally recommend Versus Evil. Yeah, it's a setup story and you get those vibes really strongly around the beginning of Volume 3, but it's still a really good read. Between this and EG, you get 100 chapters of one of the best battle manga happening right now. Verse Evil doesn't share the same Hollywood blockbuster DNA as EG. Nonetheless, it's a wicked occult series with such inventiveness that it'll open your eyes up to one of the best mangaka of this era. Witness greatness in real time. I'm giving this a 7 out of 10.